In section 3.1, we take a look at measures of center, which include mean, median, mode, and midrange. Now, let's take a look at this particular problem from the homework. It says, listed below are the weights and pounds of 11 players randomly selected from the roster of a championship sports team. Are the results likely to be a representative of all players in that sports league? So we're given the list of data, and for the first problem it says, find the mean. Well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open this up into StackCrunch. So I have my data uploaded. And now I click on Stat, Summary Stats, and then Columns. Now I'm going to go ahead and select the column, which is under Variable 1. And now everything here that's highlighted is what it's going to provide me in StackCrunch. So N is the sample size, the mean, variance, standard deviation, standard error, median, range, min, max, first quartile, third quartile. And if I keep scrolling down, I take a look at there's mode right here. Now, if I want mode, if I want StackCrunch to give me the mode as well, I need to highlight mode. So in order to highlight an extra item, I'm going to hold control on my keyboard and then I'm going to click on mode. So now I added mode uh, for StackCrunch to find. So if you're using a PC, you hold control. If you're using a Mac, I'm not too sure exactly what you use. You could uh, Google it. Just Google, how do I select an extra item? Now I'm going to go ahead and click on Compute. And now it gives me everything that I need. Let me go ahead and make a side-by-side -side view. Okay. Oops, look at that. Okay, so I have my mean right over here. And now just be careful with what it's telling us to round to. So for the mean, it's telling me to round to one decimal place. So I have, here's my mean. I have 241.9, so I have 241.9. Okay, next it's asking about the median. The median is right over here, 239. Let's go ahead and put 239 in. Now the mode, so let's go ahead and scroll to the right. This has multiple modes. Okay. So for this particular problem, since it has multiple modes, it's not going to tell us what the mode is. Okay. So now in order for me to find the mode, okay, notice that my list is just given to me in random order. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on this arrow on the top of that column, and I'm going to sort the table ascending. So now it goes from smallest to largest. So now I can go ahead and take a look at which data value appears the most amount of times. So I take a look at, I have 203, which appears twice. And then I also have 300 that appears twice. So that means that this data set has two modes. So I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and put those two modes in. So I have 203 and I have comma, and then I'm gonna put in 300. Now mid-range, mid-range is something that StatCrunch doesn't give us. But now in order to find the mid-range, what we have to do is we have to take our first, or I'm sorry, we have to take our lowest data value, our minimum value, and then our maximum value, and we add those together. And then we're gonna go ahead and divide that by two. So I have 194 plus 300, and then we go ahead and divide that by two. Let's see what we get. So 194 plus 300 gives us 494 and then divide it by two, gives us 247. So the mid-range here is 247. Okay. And now the last problem, it says, are the results likely to be a representative of all players in that sports league? Well, this data set came from the championship team. So, of course, the championship team, it's not going to be a good representative for all the players in that sports league. So the results are not likely to be a representative because, there we go, party, answer A, because the championship team may not be a representative of the entire league.